I'm joined on the line from Helsinki by Nokia spokesman Doug Dawson. Thank you so much for joining us. When we talk about extra cuts, how many more in terms of savings and job losses are we going to see in the next two years? Well, today what we announced is Nokia is taking additional action to align our workforce and our, and our operations. And these plans have been designed to support the continued execution of our strategy with, a, with an increased focus on efficiency and speed in our operations. In total today, we, we announced plans to, to reduce our personnel by 3,500 employees. Mm -hmm. um, this will impact our facility in Cluj, which we, which we will uh, close by the end of 2011. Um, we also announced today that we will we will reevaluate and we we expect to um, to shift our focus on our factories in Salo, Pomorona, and Renosa, um, mm -hmm. and we'll be evaluating these facilities. Um, but it's too early to determine what the personnel impacts would be. But w when you closed down, for example, the Bakken plant in Germany a few years ago, you had such a huge backlash. How do you uh, you know plan to avoid that kind of backlash today? Well, our, our objective is to communicate openly and as transparently as possible and explain the rationale behind this. And the rationale behind the moving of the facility in Cluj, Romania, is one where we're moving our feature phone manufacturing to those high vol to our high-volume Asian factories, which provides with significantly better scale and proximity benefits. The, the industry has shifted. Uh, Europe has much more of a smartphone-driven uh, market. Uh, so there's uh, a strong rationale as to moving our feature phone manufacturing to those Asian markets where the suppliers and the market for consumers is closer. Now, today you decided, of course, to cut these 3,500 jobs. Again, in the next two, two to three years, how much are you actually going to streamline Nokia? What kind of company will Nokia be? And in terms of your biggest rivals, who do you see them as? You're not going to take the iPhone on, are you? I wouldn't want to speculate on what our future plans would be. Right now, our focus is on effectively communicating to our employees that are impacted by today's announcement. But we are continuing to focus uh, and, and con uh, these changes support the continued execution of the strategy that we put in place. The market is continuing to shift at an accelerated pace in the direction as we anticipated towards the formation of mobile ecosystems. Uh, do we not need a bigger review, a bigger plan for the next uh, three to five years so that investors know exactly what they would be investing in, so maybe giving them a little bit more of teeth in terms of how many job cuts, how much savings they expect to do in the next three years, a longer-term plan? We provided a savings update earlier this year. Um, today's announcement um, support that savings target that we announced, but we have not provided additional guidance. And in, in terms of share price, are you really hoping it will take a, a recovery? What will it take for, for that share price to go back up? Of course, you're facing increased competition, and you have some really tough rivals out there. As you know, we don't comment on share price. That's something for the market to determine. Uh, Dr. Wilson, everything that you've said in terms of the job cuts, in terms of your, your plan, is this assuming that we're going to avoid a double-dip recession and that we're also avoiding a recession here in Europe? Well, I wouldn't want to comment on, on that. What I can say is that the changes that we've made today are, are aligned and planned to support the strategy that we have in place.